In this video, I will show you how to turn text and images into video by using the best AI video generator, Hyper AI. Once we are at Hyper.ai, the first thing we need to do is to come right here and click on Try for Free. This brings us to a tab where we choose how are we going to create an account. Once you created your account, you will be brought here. This is the Hyper Dashboard. Up here there are all the tools of Hyper AI. Here we have the option to create a video using text, to animate an image, to repaint our video, meaning making specific changes to our video, and the Extend Your Video option, which is not yet available but is coming soon. Then on the left we have the different sections of Hyper. We have Spotlight, where you can submit your generation to the community. Creations, which is basically another way to access Hyper's functions. Then we have the Favorites tab, where all the generations you add to your favorites go. I haven't added anything yet, that's why it is empty. Then we have our profile where our name and email is displayed, and also down here we have the option to change between dark mode and light mode. I will leave it at dark mode, because I like it more. Now we go back to explore. Now I will show you how to make the first video generation with text. So we will simply come up here and click on Create Video with Text. Now down here we can select different video styles for our generation like old film, watercolor, cyberpunk, arcane, lego, and more. And here in the description we need to type the prompt that explains exactly the video we want to create. If you want more information about how to write the perfect prompt, I already have made a video on it, and you can click it here on top of the screen. I already have written my prompt, so I will simply paste it here. I wrote a strikingly beautiful blonde woman with blue eyes, being outside while raining. Her face should be the focus of the image. High resolution, beautiful colors, photo realistic. If we come right here and click on this eye, we can select whether our generation will be public or private. I will leave it at private. And now we go to the settings where we can select the duration of our video, either two or four seconds. I will choose four. The video length is still pretty short, but in the future, they will expand it. Then we can select the aspect ratio of our video. I will leave it at 16 by 9. And up here we have the seed. The seed is a unique number that is generated with the video and serves as a reference number to set video. Meaning if we want to generate a video very similar to an already existing one, we copy and paste the seed number and with it, we let the AI know that we want a similar video and the only changes made will be the ones we reference into our prompt. Now we close the settings and simply click on Create. We wait a little bit for our generation to be finished. And boom, our generation is finished. And if we play the video, we can see that it is exactly what we prompted the AI to generate. Now, if for some reason we weren't satisfied with the generation, we have the option to regenerate it by coming up here and clicking on the regenerate button. Next to it is the very prompt button, where when we click it, this tab opens up, where we can edit our prompt and generate the video again, this time with our new prompt. Then we have the Repaint, which opens this Prompt tab on the bottom of our screen that allows us to make very specific changes in our already existing video. For example, we can type Make Her Coat Red and click on Create. And this will in fact turn her coat from blue to red. Then if we go on the three dots up here, we can select Delete Video, and we also can choose who can view the video. Then down here, we can click on this heart and add this video into our favorites. And finally, we have the option to download our video by clicking on the Download button. All right. Now it's time to animate an image. We will come up here and click on Creation Mode, and we will choose Animate Your Image. Now we come down here where it says Upload Image, and we left click. Now we select the image we want to upload. I will select the one that I want, and click on Open. All right, now that our image is uploaded, we need to come to the prompt bar and describe what movement we want to see in our animation. I already have written my prompt, so I will simply paste it here. I wrote, make her slightly move up and down, looking with a fierce gaze at the camera. Then I will select my generation to be private, and now I will come to the settings and set the duration to 4 seconds. And now I will come right here and click on Create. And boom. Look at this amazing animation, it is exactly what I wanted. And again, you have the option to add it to your favorites, and even to download it. Now let's change our creation mode. We go up here and click on Creation Mode, and we choose Repaint Your Video. This opens this tab on the bottom of our screen. Now we come right here to where it says Upload Video, and we left click. Now we choose the video we want to change. I will upload this one and click on Open. After we upload the video we need, we simply come down here and we type the specific change we want to see in our video. 
For example, I will type make her eyes green and then come over here and click on create. And the AI will simply make the changes in the video based on only what your prompt said. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and comment something down below. And if you want to learn how to write the best prompts in order to get the results you want, click on this video right here.